How do you make a film about such incomprehensible events? <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most important Holocaust features of all time. What are you doing up here? There's a young girl on that cart who survived the gas. She's still breathing. She'll be burned alive. While there is really no way to fully understand the events of the Holocaust, these movies and documentaries best illustrate the horrors of one of the greatest atrocities in human history. Number 10. Europa, Europa. This Golden Globe winning film is based on the true story of Solomon Perel, a German Jew who hid from the Nazis at a communist boarding school and then as a member of the Hitler Youth. Bist du wirklich ein Deutscher? Ich bin Jude. Perhaps no Holocaust movie is able to show so many facets of the war, as Solomon's surreal journey takes him from Germany to occupied Poland to the Soviet Union and back. And in each place, he narrowly avoids capture. <laughs> Number 9. In Darkness. <laughs> While not as famous as the tale of Oscar Schindler, In Darkness tells the true story of Leopold Socha, another man who heroically shielded Jews in Nazi-occupied Poland. <laughs> A small-time thief with excellent knowledge of the underground, Socha moves a group of Jews from sewer to sewer to sewer for the duration of the war. This moving tale is simply unforgettable, with its harrowing and thrilling story and difficult-to-watch scenes. <laughs> Number 8. Au revoir les enfants. Bonsoir mon père. Est-ce que vous avez perdu les enfants? Vous avez cherché partout tous les deux Julien. Tu sais l'air qu'il est? Faut toujours que tu fasses l'imbécile. An acclaimed autobiographical film by French director Louis Mal. Au revoir les enfants tells the story of two young boys who become friends at a boarding school in Nazi-occupied France. Où t'es né? Si je te disais, tu serais pas où c'est. The only problem is one of them happens to be a Jew hiding from Hitler's forces. Il y a un Juif ici, je sais. On a vu personne. Et toi? Viens ici. Fais ta culotte. While you can imagine what happens next, the film shows how close two people can become when one of them doesn't know that society wants him to hate the other. Le collège a rouvert ses portes en octobre 1944. Plus de 40 ans ont passé, mais jusqu'à ma mort, je me rappellerai chaque seconde de ce matin de janvier. Number 7. Judgment at Nuremberg. Men are sterilized because of political belief. A mockery made of friendship and faith, the murder of children. Featuring one of the greatest casts ever assembled, Stanley Kramer's three-hour fictionalization details the prosecution of members of the Nazi party long after the war ended. There was fear. Fear of today. Fear of tomorrow. Fear of our neighbors. And fear of ourselves. Nominated for a total of 11 Oscars, Judgment at Nuremberg features passionate speeches by such actors as Spencer Tracy, Burt Lancaster, Judy Garland, and Maximilian Schell, who received the Oscar for his work. Very few German knew what was going on. Very few! None of us knew what was happening. The place is shown on these films. 
Intelligent and persuasive, the film is famous as one of the greatest courtroom dramas ever. He told me that it was no use to repeat my story because no one would believe me. Number six, The Diary of Anne Frank. Look at the sky. Aren't the clouds beautiful? Lovely, lovely day. Of all the films based on the life of Anne Frank, a young girl whose family was forced into hiding by the Nazis, it is George Stevens' version that is perhaps the most iconic. I expect I should be describing what it's like to go into hiding, but I don't really know yet myself. Based on a Pulitzer Prize winning play, and using shots of the actual Dutch house where Frank's family hid, the film is best known for moving performances by Millie Perkins and Shelley Winters. Someone now knows that we're up here hiding. It's a thief. You think the thief is going to go to the green police and say I was robbing a place the other night and I heard a noise above my head. You think a thief is going to do that? Nominated for eight Academy Awards and winning three, The Diary of Anne Frank brings to life the poignancy of Anne's plight. You know what I do? And I think I can't stand another minute of being cooped up. I think myself outside. Number five, life is beautiful. Both deeply touching and at times raucously funny, this movie follows a Jewish Italian father and his family as they're sent to a concentration camp during World War II. Effervescent writer and director Roberto Benigni portrays the father of the film, who devises elaborate schemes to protect his son from the horrors of the camp. Though some disapproved of Benini's use of humor in a Holocaust setting, the film was a critical and commercial smash that won several Oscars. Number four, Shoah. So what happened was the following. See, a transport of Jews was announced to come at two o'clock. So when the transport arrived to close stations from Auschwitz, the announcement came to the SS. One of the most ambitious documentaries ever made, Shoah took French director Claude Landsman over 10 years to complete due to his attention to detail, which also led to a runtime of over nine hours. The tradition in the concentration camp was that there was a considerable amount of political prisoners, trade unionists, social democrats, communists. Putting his team in danger, Landsman traveled to the sites of concentration camps, interviewed survivors, and even secretly recorded his conversations with former Nazi officials. Geheim, Geheimungspflicht und so weiter. Geheim, Geheim, Geheimungspflicht. The result is the most comprehensive and penetrating film on the Holocaust to date, which is considered by many to be a masterpiece. They came in and told us that Auschwitz is a Vernichtungslager, where there are burning people. Number three, the pianist. Can you help? Oh, now you need me. Yes, now you need me. Can you help us? Costs. Some money. Of all the feature films on our list, Roman Polanski's 2002 story of a Polish piano player's struggle to elude the Nazis is perhaps the most engrossing. Jura. Where is the Versteck? On the Dachboden. As Vladislav Spilman, Adrian Brody navigates Warsaw, and the audience witnesses the war-torn city literally crumble around him. Can't I take my chances here? That's your decision. But when they storm the flat, throw yourself out the window. Don't let them get you alive. Winning three Oscars, including statues for both Brody and Holocaust survivor Polanski, 
The Pianist is the raw survival story of a man who will do whatever he can to stay alive. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich Ihnen danken soll. Danken Sie Gott nicht mehr. Es ist sein Wille, dass wir überleben. Naja, zumindest sollten wir daran glauben. Number two, Night and Fog. Même un paysage tranquille. Même une prairie avec des vols de corbeaux, des moissons et des feux d'herbe. Ten years after the end of World War II, director Alain René and his French film crew returned to visit and observe the remaining Nazi concentration camps, which were so numerous many had yet to be torn down. Même un village pour vacances, avec une foire et un clocher, peuvent conduire tout simplement à un camp de concentration. The filmmakers blended new footage with archival, illustrating the sheer magnitude and impact of the Holocaust in terms of buildings and bodies. Quelquefois, le malade affamé mange son pansement. À la fin, tous les déportés se ressemblent. Ils s'alignent sur un modèle sans âge qui meurt les yeux ouverts. Oddly enough, it's the little details like entire warehouses full of empty shoes that are perhaps the most chilling images in this documentary. Rien que des cheveux de femme. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. you? She doesn't speak German. I don't even think she speaks. You don't understand me? She's from a convoy. I didn't imagine she's from a speech. What? Verteilen Sie die an die Männer? Keine Sorge, Jungs. Nach dem Endsieg wird's uns allen gut gehen. I keep going through to your side. What's the point in that? Dad's not going to be over here, is he? But I said he can't go, wouldn't I? If I came through. But I don't look like you. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. Number one, Schindler's List. At midnight tonight, the war is over. The film that introduced a new era of discourse on the subject, Steven Spielberg's unflinching masterpiece, tells the story of Oscar Schindler, a Nazi businessman who shielded over 1,000 of his Jewish workers from the wrath of the Third Reich. How many? 600. Spielberg's epic vision trails Polish Jews as they're evacuated from their homes and forced into ghettos and eventually concentration camps. Mostly shot in black and white to ensure its agelessness, Schindler's List is punctuated by an iconic shot of a single girl in a red coat, which begins Schindler's transformation from opportunist to hero. Do you agree with our list? Which Holocaust film best highlighted the horror of its subject matter for you? Tomorrow, you'll begin the process of looking for survivors of your families. In most cases, you won't find them. For more Top Tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What else do you admit to, Mrs. Fowler? What else? Hello? Are we going to do this again?